what is up youtube back in madden 23 if you like madden rebuilds career simulations and experimental videos you came to the right place go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the like button say something in the comments i'm on the road to 100 subscribers right now would appreciate it if you would help me get there thanks today we're gonna be doing a experimental video what if the o-line was all zero overalls uh, as you can see they're all with the 12 overall because that's the lowest that you can get lowered that all the ratings that had to do with uh with the offensive line you know blocking speed whatever everything everything is down all the way the only thing i didn't mess with was injury stamina and toughness but everything's lowered down to a one on the entire offensive line we're gonna see how it affects the run game that's the main thing that i'm worried about also the passing game obviously but derrick henry is uh one of the best backs in the nfl if not the best so we're gonna see if this directly affects how many yards he gets in one season. See if it makes a difference or not. See if it's worth it to spend big money on offensive linemen when we're doing regular franchise rebuilds or if it's okay if we just have a bunch of crap offensive linemen blocking for us. So that being said, we're about to go ahead and see what happens with this. All right, I simulated three games into this regular season. So let's go over here and check out the stats and see how it's affecting. I mean, we're 0-3, so we have the 31st ranked offense. So obviously it's not going well rushing wise. Like Derrick Henry still averaging 4.7 per carry, 231 yards. So it looks like he's still doing all right. The receiving game seems like it's doing okay. Maybe it's just the team is bad. I mean, Ryan Tannehill is not doing amazing. He's throwing three touchdowns, two interceptions, 464 yards, 31% completion. So maybe it's affecting him more. He's been sacked 13 times in three games. So. I mean, that's a lot, but there's teams in the NFL that give up that many sacks in three games. I simulated to the midseason point, and we're 1-5 in five at the moment. I'm going to go look at the stats again and see how they're going, and I'm going to dive into a couple of games and see what they're looking like. looks like we had the 32nd ranked offense. Uh, Ryan Tannehill is thrown for 900 yards, only four touchdowns, two interceptions with a 36% completion. Derrick Henry still doing good, though. 100 carries, 500 yards, 5.2 per carry, so... I mean, he was only getting two touchdowns, but he's still averaging a pretty good uh, yards per carry on it. Looking at the team schedule, the first game, week one, we lost 45-17. to 17. I'm going to jump in here and look at the player stats only for the Titans. So Ryan Tannehill had a 55 rating, 198 passing yards, one touchdown, one interception, 35% completion, sacks six times. So he was running for his life back there. Derrick Henry had 12 carries for 58 yards and 4.8 per carry, so it's not really affecting him directly. Week 5 against the Commanders, we got our first win and our only win so far, 14-7. to Jump in here and check out the stats on it real quick. Ryan Tannehill had a bad game again, only 73 yards passing with the 43 rating. He was only sacked twice though, but he completed 5 out of 19 attempts, 26%. Rushing wise, Derrick Henry had a great game, 18 carries for 131 yards, 7.3 per carry, one touchdown. So it seems like it's not really bothering the running game as much as it is the passing game for sure. End of the regular season, we finished four wins, 13 losses. Let me check the standings real quick and see who had the worst record in the NFL. So we actually had the same record as the Seahawks and they have a good offensive line. Well, I mean, compared to ours, I don't know if they have a really good offensive line for real or not, but compared to the offensive line that we have, everyone has a better offensive line. So I guess it's not exactly making a huge difference, but at the same time it is. Let me go look at some more stats. I'm still looking here at the standings and I'm looking at points for, we have the second worst points for with 304. So that's how many points that we have scored the whole season. And defensively, we gave up 545 points. And you could say, oh, that, that doesn't have anything to do with the offensive line because offensive line doesn't give up points on defense. But in reality, it probably does because if you're giving, you know, if you're giving up the ball like on the two yard line or the 10 yard line and the defense has to come in and only defend 10 yards or, you know, it's a short field, then they're going to give up a lot more points than a team that has given them like 80 yards to go, if that makes sense gonna look at the season stats and see what this looks like over a whole year we had the 31st ranked offense and the 32nd ranked defense pretty much figured that was gonna happen so Ryan Tannehill threw for 2700 yards 21 touchdowns five interceptions that's a pretty good uh, touchdown to interception ratio 43% completion is terrible though and a rating of 74 that's really low he was sacked 53 times so he was like he was just out there running for his life the whole time 
Rushing yards, Derrick Henry still had a great year. He had 281 carries for 1,634 yards, 5.8 per carry with seven touchdowns. So it doesn't affect the running game. It doesn't look like at all, if any. Robert Woods still had 57 catches for 1,000 yards and 11 touchdowns. I'm going to look at the offensive line stats here and see. So we had two guys that didn't give up a sack at all, but then Taylor Lewin had given up 19 sacks. This guy gave up 16 sacks, only played in 13 games. So everyone's given up a lot of sacks here. So yeah, it definitely has a lot to do with the passing game. The proof is in the numbers. Looking at the season stats for the entire NFL, Derrick Henry still finished second with 1,600 yards rushing behind Jonathan Taylor. He still had a higher uh, yards per carry, 5.8, which is pretty high. See right here, he, he does have the highest yard per carry with the uh, runners that actually had more carries than like five or 10 or whatever it was. It's crazy that it doesn't, doesn't affect the running game as much. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Looking at the blocking stats for the entire NFL, we gave up the most sacks, Taylor Lewin, 19, and then this guy from the Raiders gave up 18. I thought we'd have multiple guys up here. So here's the other guy, 16. And I think everyone else that we had on our team only gave up like five. So even then, it's still, I mean, that's a lot of sacks to give up, but there's guys out here giving up that many sacks regardless. Look at the Seahawks out here giving up a ton of sacks. Looking at the schedule again, and it looks like pretty much most of the games that we lost, we, I mean, we gave up like over 30 points, nearly 40 points. This game, we gave up 50 points, gave up 41 points. And then uh, these two games, we actually scored over 30 points and we won. Then we gave up 40 points again, so... I, know, I guess it affects the defense a lot too. Looking at Ryan Tannehill's career stats, and maybe we're gonna have to try this experiment on a team that has a, a like a top two quarterback, maybe the Bills, because it looks like he's still throwing the same amount of touchdowns as he did last year in real life with 21 and less interceptions. I mean, he gave up, or he passed for way less yards, obviously right here. But I mean, down here he did similar, but he had a way better rating. I guess he had a higher completion percentage. Yeah. Looking at Derrick Henry's career stats, this is the second most yards he ever ran for in his entire career on 281 carries, which is the third most that he had. He had over 300 this year and 378 this year. 5.8 per carry is the highest that he ever had. So yeah, we're gonna have to try to do this same experiment uh, eventually on a team that has a good uh, quarterback and a decent running back at least and see how much it affects the passing game. I mean, Derrick Henry's out here having the best year of his career, uh, yards per carry wise, with a crap offensive line. But Ryan, Ryan Tannehill's out here having the worst year. <laughs> All the offensive linemen have upgrades available, but it won't let you do them because I guess their awareness is too low or something. I'm not sure. It says not enough skill points to purchase this bucket, whatever that means. That's going to be it for the video. Uh, let me know in the comments what y'all thought about this. Should I try this on another team that actually has a better quarterback and see how much it affects the passing game? I wasn't expecting the, the passing game to be affected as much, but at the same time, it does make sense to me. However, it doesn't make sense that the running game ba like basically had didn't have any effect on it at all. Derrick Henry still had the second most rushing yards in the NFL. Ryan Tannehill had the worst year of his career. got sacked 53 times. So if y'all like what y'all see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Comment something down below. What other ideas should I do? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Peace.